Hey folks, how's it going? So, finally my Surpass Hobby um, program card has arrived and I hope it's gonna help the ESC um, address the issue it's like low voltage cutoff uh, delayed in throttling and the reverse force so for this one uh, this is pretty straightforward this program card here is so small and it's lightweight and there is some wire here and this is a connector here that you use to connect to the EC so just a quick comparison this is the hobby wing program card this looks more advanced more digital than this one so this is the size difference and the thickness and this is about heavy for its uh, for its size and they're both um, functional so the other difference is that it has an LCD display and this one has none and the controls also pretty straightforward in this and also the four buttons pretty straightforward and there are the, there's the instructions here and same and the settings so how do we um, how do we connect the program card of the hub wing that comes with its own wires and connect it directly to the fan slot so where the fan is um, connected to so directly like that so just that's the BEC then operate it so that's for the hub wing so the only difference here in the sore pass is that we don't connect it to the BEC, BEC or the, the fan slot we connect directly to where the receiver I mean to where the ESC connects uh, to the receiver so pull it out from the receiver and connect it here it's pretty straightforward and that's it and you can start programming so here we are at the programming part so the defaults are the ones with red lights uh, low voltage cutoff set to 3.1 but I noticed that it still goes like lower than 3 volts it's low as 2.7 so there's really something wrong with the low voltage cutoff here so just bring your voltage checker with you when you're playing because you can't do anything about it sadly uh, start modes it's set to medium currently so I'm gonna put it to strong so when selecting all these uh, options here you just press the down arrow button so it's currently on low voltage cutoff that's on start modes now so to set to this stuff here to the right so just press the right arrow button and it goes all the way back there's no left button so I'm gonna set it to strong because I noticed that uh, my throttling has delays so hopefully it's uh, able to solve this problem so I'm just gonna press program here to confirm and this work state here uh, flushes blue when it confirms something that you've programmed. So again, I'm going to press program. Well, we'll see later again. Um, I'm going to go to the max brake force, which is set to 50%, I think. I'm not sure. Because currently I'm using the 150 amp, um, 150 amp ESC. If there's no 150 amp here. So I'm gonna assume it's uh, it belongs down here with 80 and 120 amps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it like that on 25% brake force because I noticed that the brakes are really really strong and it can even front flip the car. So I'm gonna move forward to uh, the max reverse force. I'm gonna press the down button. It's currently on 25%. So. I also have this problem like the uncontrollable uh, reverse force so you cannot control it so you have to like really really finely dial the reverse uh, reverse button so for this case I can't do anything about it so it's on it's set to the lowest so just leave it that way and the neutral range is I suppose 
I suppose this is um, this is how the let me show you. I suppose that this is the neutral position of the throttle, and the neutral range is like how how hard you should uh, pull the trigger in order to to detect uh, to detect the throttling. Maybe the neutral range is somewhat like this. But I'm not sure, but currently it's set to 9%, which is the narrow west range. And if we set it to 6%, it's gonna be the normal range. And if we set it to 12%, it's gonna be the widest range. So I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment on this. I'm gonna choose 12%. It might solve the reversing issue that I have. So I'm gonna press program here. So I hope that the reverse um, throttle will not be as sensitive and as strong as before so I can control the reversing well. After everything is set, uh, you can just, you can just uh, turn off the EC right away. Pull this thing out and And put it back to the receiver and test it. So currently I'm testing the 12% um, neutral range. So you can see it. We try to reverse. So it seems that I'm able to control it more. Um, I can reverse slow, slower, and more finely. Okay, now I'm back here again. I'm I'm going to set the neutral range to to nine percent. So the default setting earlier. This is the narrowest neutral range. I'm gonna confirm it through the program button. Blue LED light, and I'll turn it off. Now I'm gonna test the neutral range on nine percent or the narrowest setting. So look. Holy shot. So I noticed that it really has a bit of difference. So with this light um, touch of the throttle, um, the car like speeds up really quick compared to that of the 12% neutral range setting. So therefore, well, uh, that affects it. So if you want to be safe, just set the neutral range to 12%. For you to have more control over the car than just having it on nine percent so these are now my final settings low voltage curve 2.1 start mode strong max brake force 50 max reverse 25 neutral range of 12 percent i'm gonna press program again and turn off the dc so yeah, I'm outside testing it. Uh, it seems that there's still some uh, delays in accelera acceleration. show the way I, I do the reverse. <laughs> 